Alright guys, so that intro sequence that you guys actually saw I had filmed yesterday Because right now I'm actually walking through Queen Sigmund State Park I'm looking around just for some cool places to grab some b-roll I need to grab city kind of like lifestyle b-roll for a fundraiser type of event that we were doing So I'm probably gonna get the drone up and just kind of see some nice spots that we can grab And I have a brand new ND filter from KNF Concept so I want to test that out. It stops down nine stops, which is pretty dope. The only thing is it doesn't have like the actual stops for the ND filter, like a lot of ND filters have. You can keep twisting it and it'll just keep going and it'll have the X that a lot of ND filters have. But it was like 30 bucks I got on the Amazon. I'll link that down in the description. That was like a big part of uh, why I wanted to just whip it out and start vlogging so I could test out the ND filter. But also, since the main part of this is B-roll, I thought, why not kill three birds with one stone? Test out the ND filter, grab the city B-roll for what I'm trying to do, as well as vlog, because honestly, it's been a minute since I last vlogged. Let's just go and see kind of what type of B-roll we can grab. I do want to get the drone up, I have it with me. Get the drone up in a nice spot. I'm not really sure what the air restrictions are, so I'm not trying to get like fined or something, but let's we'll see what we can do. Hey guys, so I just finished up flying uh, my drone for some nice aerial shots. I think I'm going to go back and get detail shots. The only thing is, you know, I had this helicopter fly by like a few times, so I wasn't able to get as many shots as I wanted to. I don't know if it's just me, but whenever there's like a manned aircraft nearby, like a helicopter, a plane, or whatever it is, I get super anxious, so I just, I just want to like land my drone or get it out of the airspace because I don't want to like run into a situation where... Uh, there's like a collision or anything like that. There's a bit of a weird scenario here where I need to get B-roll of the neighborhood <clears throat> and kind of of like schools or at least the general area. But I'm trying to think of the best way to do that without without it coming across weird because it's going to come across weird either way. Especially because, you know, it's a, it's a Tuesday, school's open, and I don't want to film a school, obviously, while they're in session especially kind of with the climate around schools these days i'm just not trying to throw up any sort of red flags there i do think for now i just want to test out this nd filter 
and I would assume that we're probably at the ninth stop. I feel like the biggest problem with vlogging with me is that I hold myself back. So like I mentioned earlier, the B-roll sequence that you guys saw earlier was actually yesterday and what happened was my camera died. My I, like I should have checked to make sure that my battery was in good shape, but you know, by the time I was like pulling off in my car to, you know, hit this park, I already realized that the, the, the battery was already dead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, you know, grab some B-roll. We'll probably finish up this video. Uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Yeah, I probably should have realized that the camera was already dead, but I wasn't thinking to check to make sure that my battery was all set. So I had to go home, charge up my battery, make it out here, and then the sun was already setting. Luckily, it's super bright. We're early in the morning. We'll grab the rest of the B-roll, hit maybe some more locations, kind of just see how the KNF Concept ND filter is looking, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so I just actually finished up having a conversation with one of the guys who works for the park. I bring that up just to say, because for the longest time I haven't wanted to vlog just because I've been so uncomfortable kind of getting out in public just bringing my camera and everything like that but obviously since I'm out here getting b-roll we just finished up flying the drone let me actually grab the drone so like I said I don't think I'm gonna do any more drone shots just because this helicopter's flown by like three four times because they flew by super close to me so I'm just not sure if they're if they were trying to figure out what I was doing but I mean the helicopter I'm sure already kind of saw my drone in the airspace or whatever it is but i don't need any more aerial shots anyway so it doesn't matter we're gonna we're gonna pack up the dji mavic air 2 and get it out the way a lot can happen when you get yourself out of your comfort zone you're willing to just kind of be open to whatever it is that life has to give you i spoke about this with a few guys yesterday actually i was making a vlog back in january when i was speaking about this very same topic where if you expect to get to where you want to get in life without getting out of your comfort zone it's just not going to happen that way it just won't because you're going to be doing the same thing you're going to be putting yourself in a box you're not putting yourself out there just because i've been running into that very same problem it goes in cycles but i'm trying my best i'm trying to break out of this mentality of uh, holding yourself back because your limitations are self-imposed you can really do whatever it is that you want as long as you believe that you're going to get there you're willing to go through the pain in the short term to reap the rewards in the long term for whatever it is you're trying to do easier said than done it's so easy to say that to a camera it's easy to say that to yourself in your mind but when it's time to take action a lot of the times even me i just i just won't do it i'll fall short but that's not the mentality you want to have you want to have the mentality that no matter what you're going to get it done at some point so i'm glad that we're out here b-roll probably could have been a little better i'm gonna go back to the park maybe try to get some shots of people playing my car is parked over there too so i kind of got to get it out the way had a really great conversation with this guy man just a really nice guy i'm just excited like i i, I i'm excited to get some more shots i want to be more meticulous about my framing getting nice shots i want to use the word cinematic everybody's using the word cinematic nowadays but just have intention with each shot that i'm putting into my videos so that I can have a higher threshold of quality. I want to hold myself to a higher standard because I'm not I'm not trying this is not a hobby. This is my career. I think a lot of us need to start thinking about it that way. I'm not trying to do some super in-depth review with the KNF concept ND filter. I forget what the exact name is, but I'll probably put it either in the title of the video or in the comments. Or when I do find it, I'll probably just look on my phone and I'll let you guys know in a little bit. But so far so good. Besides the X that it has on the screen when you're uh filming this thing has been doing pretty well it is pretty bright i'm literally in direct sunlight so i'll figure out the exact quality of this nd when i get back in the editing room but for now it's been doing pretty good guys but the plan definitely is to get some shots of people playing i might even ask them if they're okay with me filming a, sh a few shots of them playing to try to get the best content i can get you guys will know if i actually ask them to get some shots if uh the next thing you see is some dope b-roll of people playing tennis so let's go do that finished up filming uh, with those guys as you guys can see very chill guys I actually got one of their numbers so hopefully I'm gonna be able to film with him he has a restaurant and he was just talking to me about you know how much it would cost to make some videos for him just kind of the process of what I do and all that gave him my contact info hopefully we can reconnect soon so that was pretty dope this KNF concept ND filter has been really nice throughout the day 
as you guys can see I'm even using it right now as we speak and it's just had some pretty great image besides the X's guys I'm no expert on indie filters like I mentioned but besides the X I haven't had a problem with it at all I'm at 4,000 ISO right now we're stopped down to 3.5 it's looking pretty good it's a solid ND filter 30 bucks beats the one I bought from Best Buy that thing was trash the ND filter I bought from Best Buy had a yellow cast to it it might have been more expensive than this one this one's pretty true to the colors coming out inside the camera which I like a lot so it was definitely really dope to bring this ND filter out with me today and just be able to get some really great footage so I think I'm gonna link it down in the description for you guys so if you guys want to check out the KNF concept ND filter I forget the exact name I think it's like ND2400 I'll, I'll find the exact name of the ND filter and put it down in the description like I just said so that you guys can buy it if you do want to check it out but other than that guys it's been very productive I've been, just been being real with myself whether or not I've been really getting myself out of my comfort zone and really just taking my filmmaking career to the next level am I taking myself seriously do I genuinely believe in what I'm doing and I feel like today was a great day in terms of content the only reason I didn't film the school is because I'm not gonna lie, it's just very weird to film a school, especially children, while it's in session. And just with the way, with the way that the school system is going right now in terms of the United States where there's so many school shootings and all this crazy stuff going on, I just didn't feel very comfortable you know getting the drone out and just filming a school I just thought that was nonsense but we're gonna go back on probably the 23rd and get that done but we got a lot of great footage filming the guys playing tennis was probably my favorite part there's a lot more I want to do man I have a storytelling video coming up soon that talks about belief and there's this video going viral from Earl Nightingale that I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen so far really dope video and he really opened my eyes to a lot of the stuff going on. I definitely want to whip that out. Really opened my eyes to a lot of the stuff going on. I definitely want to shed some light, not only on that video, but on the laws of nature, how belief works, you know, how guys from the beginning of time have discovered that you become what you think about. And I'm gonna leave it like that. I want to give too much information in terms of the video because I do think it's gonna be a really, really high quality video. Something that I've been working really hard on. Still in the scripting process in terms of picking out the clips for it. Um, whether or not I want to go back and reshoot some sections so it works with the video. But I'm super excited and that is what's coming next. A lot more storytelling. I've been watching a lot of Mark Bone, a lot of Brady Bissett, so I can get my uh, my storytelling skills on point, my cinematography on point. I'm trying to not worry about the noise anymore. I'm just gonna do me. And I think that's a great way to live. I think a lot of us should live that way and do whatever fulfills us, whatever our passions are. We chase those dreams. Nobody else is doing it for you, man. So have a good one, guys. Peace.